Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign. Of course we're playing Germany in a mod that I'm not used on the channel at the time of this recording called Road to Enhancement. As per the Steam description it says, this mod, the Road to Enhancement, is an enhanced version of Road to 56. By combining multiple mods together we've been able to create the perfect mod for Hearts of Iron 4. So we're trying it out just to see what it's like. Um, as, as like I said, we're playing Germany, but we're going to get rid of this guy because eventually, we're gonna, of course we're going to denounce the Treaty of Versailles, but... We always have this certain aid off in power. Let's get someone else. An official denunciation of the Versailles Treaty will clearly show a political position to the world and drum up support for a cause in the civilian population. Why not? <coughs> Excuse me. But combined, the double S, or the, 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 the gay boys? The g Gestapo. The Gestapo. The Rhineland. Oh. Uh, the Papa Rhineland has been demilitarized since the end of the Great War. But it's an stand no longer. Uh, Germany is a sovereign nation and is free to move troops anywhere within the borders. Maybe reverse if we're confronting them back down. Oh boy. Oh, also I guess I did send divisions over here too. But I really just wanted to send planes. Start working on some of the uh, air XP and whatnot. But um, we aren't a historical to see what this is like because we're not being very historical here at all. That's why we're a historical. So, uh, what is this? Cut student? You know what? You can have that one. You can have that one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cut. We'll see what happens. Just because uh, with this mod, we increased uh, Dutch trade with Germany. Well, we're going to go to war with them. So it's a historical. Uh, but with this mod, road enhancement, we have MFO bells. We have manpower propagandists, adding manpower. Spend political power to get more manpower. We report on radiation situations, death from nuclear attacks, and high radiation. Interesting. And, the, and that talks about us specifically as well. <coughs> Additionally, with this mod, to set up influence over a country, their opinion of you shall be 85 or bigger, or larger, or higher. Influence power daily gain is dependable on your political power daily gain divided by two. Some decisions are available only at specific balance or a bigger of influence level over a country. Green, you can influence. Green, red means no. That means influence over you. Gray means mo opinion modifier. Uh, affect influence amount by uh, adding a modifier after you did an action. So to start influencing country, shall it not be major, in faction, or a puppet? So um, right now, spheres of influence, we have none right there. And Rota 56 extras, uh, I've actually for now. So, uh, But we will go to war with the Dutch because we love the Dutch here in the country. We love the Dutch. Not the Poles, but the, the Dutch usually. And I'm just here to bomb people. So I put uh, 200 tactical bombers down here. They're having a good old swell time. You know, enjoying themselves. Can you actually help out? Oh, you actually lost. Oh, Italy. You are so very Italian. We did send the, some of the mountaineers down here too, because we can. Because why not? A lot of ships are out of date, but we're going to leave this area as soon as we can, just so we can go to war with the, the Dutch. Because with the Dutch, well, they're Dutchies. And what can we do here? Oh, also, we have military jurisdictions. No supervision, with limited supervision, which is not bad, but... I don't mind encourage brutality, but I don't want to lose experience gain at all, so... Dedicate surveillance, but I don't lose attack. We have non-German recruitment prohibited. Segregated regiments. And integrated manpower, huh? Women are not allowed to serve. Which gives you a huge chunk of population if you let them have equal service. Um, we also have quality of training, um, not good, but that's not good either. Basic training is okay. Extensive training, uh, honestly, it's probably worth it. Advanced training is probably the best, yeah. Strict restrictions on extended conscription. Standard conscription, huh. Veteran conscription, reconscription. Youth conscription, levy and mass. And then political exemptions for draft exemptions, religious exemptions, no exemptions. So we're going to the Rhineland. We'll see if we actually uh, get forced to back down or not. Let's save just in case, because it is on A historical. They should say, hey, whatever. But you never know with the AI here in Hoi 4. So, um, cause I would like to launch this quickly, too. Yeah, show out a lot more manpower. There you go. But let's see. And... We got the Rhineland to militarize. Also, there's another thing in this mod called uh, using ideology. So that's not pretty good. It hurts our constru construction speed. We need way more garrisons, which really sucks. Versailles to announce, of course. Three rotor Enigma engine. General staff like normal. Visitor loser, of course. And MEFO bills. And what if you get the Wehrmacht advice? Oh. So we can either do this group or the big Wehrmacht. Recruit SS divisions. Create two half empty motorized SS divisions in a random control state. Only suitable once per year. Huh. Oh, look at that. See civilian property. Get SS advice. Transfer equipment to the army. That's not bad. Add equipment to the stockpile. Um, hire a military factory. Ooh. Once per year. That's not bad either. 
So we've remilitarized, and they're not going to complain because they would die, probably. Uh, but in the meantime, you want to combine them? Eh. Also, oh, and then I love what the mod devs did, or maybe just, you know, pretty basically like what Paradox does. Gets rid of the other trees, so that's actually really nice. Uh, begin depression recovery, because we're all depressed here. The Weimar Republic's treatment of the Great Depression made the economy even worse. We should uh, <clears throat> start to repair this damage done by the enemies of the Reich, and then we'll combine them all. The right is sent into France. Oh, well, no matter what. Also, this mod apparently features, um, like, a lot of, some more Rex Commissariats. So I'm very interested in seeing what that's all about. So, uh, but now, we're going to go and grab, not has but probably Borman. Oh, we might want to grab him, though. Huh. Huh. I just want more political power. But we will end up in a civil war, probably. So, eh, grab him anyways. We like, well, he's bald, but whatever. You, on the other hand, yeah. Friesland? Because we can? I think so. I'll remove MFO bills, whatever, I don't care. There you go, have fun. It's really good. Oh, no sub. And there's more to the mod, I'll show you just a little bit too. Oh, I do want to use these shock troopers too. These guys look actually kind of cool, so. Assess the Fungungstruppe. Nice. Motor shock troops. Amsterdam. Thank you. Thank you. And we got him. Beautiful. And they've been called in as an enemy. I love it. You know, it's probably not worth doing this and just puppeting them instead, but whatever. Too late. Thank you, sirs. I love swamp Germans. Oh. Hey, lost convoy, whatever. Oh, look at that. Look at all the ships. Yay! We literally almost doubled the German Navy in a single day. Good job, guys. Now train until you die. And we got some more. Five research slots. Quite a bit. It's very nice. Ah, yes. And those two. Also, I'll show you just a little bit too. Whatever. Now there's a lot of world tension. Was that optimal? Probably not now, but uh, whatever. Uh, how much manpower do we have in the field right now? Not enough. Cool, form a camel corps? Probably not. But well, we can send some boys back over down here. Ethiopian Empire? Probably not. Not two divisions. At least send the planes for now. I like sending planes. And I only send the medium bombers just because, like, there's not enough uh, range for cast. So, with that being said, we usually go with Mr. Adolf here, but like I said, I don't want to always do Adolf. And I don't know. Goring's a guy, but what if we wanted to go a bit more radical? What if we were a bit more radical? I like being radical. It's much more fun being a radical. Two political power a day. Not enough. Seize civilian property? Get some advice. I like getting advice. That's good. Yeah, this is pretty good, too. You use more infantry equipment and whatnot, but okay. So over here, uh, SS Influencing Army, unit upkeep goes up, which is interesting. Better compliance and better counterintelligence, but companies demand MFO bill payments. With the end of the recent war, the companies have turned, uh, issued MFO bills to who, are, to who are now pushing us to issue payments. They claim there's no longer any necessity to withhold payments for the good of the fatherland. Eh, very well. Oh, yeah, we gotta wait for that one too. Eh, which is fine. Naval rearmament. Three naval dockyards for 35 days. That's actually pretty decent, not gonna lie. Uh, develop the hair. Eh, that's pretty good too. Speed's not bad. But I do want to get to uh, a lot more of all this stuff too. Maximum infrastructure would be nice. More construction speed would be very good. Type of technocrats. That's more historical. Um, but we're not really going historical. This is not bad. More population would be good. Give technocrats a seat. I kind of would probably prefer that. But appoint economic positions. The only way for the German Reich to recover from the Great Depression entirely is to ensure that we have a united economy. We can facilitate this by appointing a president to the Reichsbank and a minister of economics, of course. Ah! Yes. I hope I can edit these divisions because that's not very good. Gunter Fassbender. Show all the motorized in there for now. If you really want to go to Africa, I know everyone wants to go to Africa. Because who doesn't want to go to Africa? We love Africa. We totally love Africa. So this is what I'm talking about. Factory trade tool. Uh, let's see. So that's a tutorial. We can trade and just give them factories if we really wanted to. So like Italy, give them one from like four months. Oh, no, that's four years. 
Control shift. Oh, there you go. Alt click. Wow, that's very specific. So we confirm the trade, but I don't really want to trade. Active trades list. Yeah. So I don't really feel like it. And uh yeah. Basic stuff. Aluminum would be bad. We're gonna go disperse for now. As you, me, some double S guys. We're having a good old time. So what happens if we go all the way? Operation Valkyrie. Assassination attempt on Adolf Hitler. A balance of influence ends in Germany. Second London Naval Treaty sign. Appointing economic positions. We have two appointment options for the offices of the Reichsbank's uh, president and economic minister. One of the possible appointees, Harald Marschak. It's very good at working with the German Reichs companies and developing civilian infrastructure, however. His lack of loyalty to the, to the NSDAP and disdain for military spending makes him a very rewarding case. Our second choice, uh, uh, Funk, is very loyal to the group and our party, and a significant military expenditure proponent. To make any reasonable progress with the German recovery, we must choose one of these two men to lead our economy. The Anglo German naval agreement we secured at 35 that allows us to expand our naval greatly. Spare no, spare no effort in doing so. Is this. Okay, so we do choose either one. Shock. I mean, I want to go, like, with Papa Himmler, so. I, I do want Shock, but. That was my cup of tea here, too. Um, construction speed goes down a little bit. Uh, I. We love the political power, though. Right, we victory in the French Republic. Well, good for them. There's a lot of factories here. Reich's Autobahn would be pretty good to work and do with. Do with do. War economy would be total. Total Krieg would be nice. Naval effort. Uh, we could combine them. Here. Put them out. Blamenwerfer. So good. Uh, we don't need that yet. That's not bad. I like infantry piercing is not bad too. I would do it for tanks. Okay, good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we'll do that. You know what? Oh, there they go. Having fun. Upgrades, reinforcements, we're going to do that one. Actually, no, we're going to go here. Go low. Start. Wow. French commies. They have unique focus. Yeah, it's road 56, but road enhancement as well. No, they don't. It's not unique. French Republic, huh? Yeah, they sell the unique one. Hey, we'll see. I'm not going to bother getting involved in those guys. I'll see the point. And welcome back to Ethiopia. I know you missed it. All right, Rex Autobahn, get more uh, stuff here. Since its inception in 1933, the Rex Autobahn project has been a glorious success. The construction efforts have reduced unemployment, and the wide road stands as a monument to Germany's eco economic recovery. Much work remains to be done, however. Uh, anything else we really cared about? Um. I love the advice, yes! Oh, oh no, the blade. Oh, there goes three friends. Oh, well, the French economy is the one. They give a French your power and they go kill themselves. It happens, man. It just happens. Eh, you tank, huh? Mechanized. I do want to use some mechanized though. Eh, I'll grab that one because we can't find out. Okay, if you really want to help out, they're, they're struggling quite a bit. We need some more daily army XP as well. We might grab a military advisor here too. So, uh, what do we have here? Uh, plus point three, plus point three attack. I love an organization, makes more sense in my opinion. But we're going to go with how to do this time. We, I love the attack. You know, you just stay there. You hang out. You have a good day. You should be able to help the mountain. Hopefully, win, right? Exactly. Anything? Oh, yes! And more advice. Yes, 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 yes. It's going to take a little bit of time for us to get to where we really want to be with Papa. Well, uh, SS Burgundy, but whatever. So, how often does it come back? Well, guess what? We built roads. We're going to privatize the Reichsbahn. First step, recovering our infrastructure will be revitalizing the railway system will be a privatization. So, you get a whole four civilian factories. Boop out. All right, so which means both of you guys can focus down here now. Oh, almost. Oh, the Spanish are killing themselves. Yay! Look at that, beautiful. I love it. All right, Spain, you want some good guys? You need three divisions. You have six. Send the three tank division. That's fine. You know, oh, yeah, why not? Sub boy. Sub boy. 
It's a boy. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. And we can send two, so we'll send a thing of fighters and calves. There's medium bombers right there. Medium bombers like that. Ah, beautiful. No question, Iberia. What's not to love? Alright, and we're back. Infantry, we usually do infantry. We'll probably need extra infantry here too. But we definitely want more daily armament speed too. Ooh, law enforcement, balanced approach. Order above all is definitely. Yeah, actually, I might just race. Well, once we get to war, I, I hate chance of strikes. I hate strikes. Hate, 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 hate strikes so much. Traditional roles, we definitely have to go with the traditional roles. Added female operative chance. That's right, women, you cannot do that. Force patriarchy, limited rights. Eh. Eh. Any more political power. All right. All right. So, all radio. That sounds very nice. Blowing up the Spaniards sounds very nice. But it's because they want to. You know, upkeep goes up. Very compliance growth speed, though. I love it. I love it. So we'll privatize the Autobahn. We'll do Anschluss eventually, too. The Anschluss, or Union with Austria. It's a long-held goal of the German people. Uh, although forbidden by the Treaty of Versailles, the time has come to finally bring it about. Let us offer the Austrians a chance at sharing a glorious destiny with the Finnish Reinhardt program. So we get six more civvies, which would be very, very nice. Um, the Reinhardt program, direct investment of infrastructure, will yield great results. And Autarx is more of a struggle option, which we always do that one, which is pretty decent. But I think we'll go start with the Technocrats for this one this time. It won't have a successful economic powerful, economically powerful German Reich. Must side with the technocrats. Danzig wants support in replacing the city's commissioner. The city of Danzig has had many problems with its current commissioner, Lester. He has actively tried to block the city's policies and some of its laws from being enacted. Danzig is asking for support to the petition of the League of Nations to appoint a new city commissioner. who will be more accommodating. As best not to upset the order of things? Nah. Anything for our German brothers. Anything for them. Which I forgot that Danzig still exists. But yeah, overall, we're doing pretty well. It's very weird to see a very light green French commune. Um, Danzig is German. You betcha. Rely on some militias, that makes sense. Maintaining our infrastructure. Karl Buchar, the High Commissioner. And their National Daddyists. Oh. We might as well just play Danzig sometime then. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is where we're currently at in Spain. The land of pain. Oh, so much pain and pain and... Oh my goodness. Well, we're getting there. Let's go a tiny civil war, that's all. Give our guys a little bit more time. Air speed already is doing more than fine-ish for now-ish. Um, oh, we can send another guy over. Oh, well, let's do that. As we are getting more fuel right now. Actually, do we have any more? Yes, we do. We did that too, because we can. Um, you know what? Set him up here. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, yeah, that's fine. I guess we're still in here. Oh, you're suffering from attrition. Um, supply map mode it is what we call god awful, so we'll go up there. How are we doing? Um, ooh. Oh, you can send another group here, too. If that's the case. I love Africans because you can just shoot them down. Might as well, right? And they'll be there very soon. And boom. What if you did it by yourself? You could. Very good. And you guys getting more organization as, you know what, just let them rip. Let them rip and go. We'll be fine. Look at all that RXP. I love it. Yes. Oh, recruit SS divisions? Oh, you know it. Seize property? Assassination attempt on Mr. Schmettler! Oh, to Unkopf. Well, let's die. I'll convert these divisions a little bit later. I'll uh, throw one at him. Unconfirmed reports of the Fuhrer headquarters indicate that someone set off an explosive device during a situation meeting with the aid of Hitler attended. Information is still sparse, and there is considerable confusion in both the Wehrmacht and the SS, with officers on both sides accusing the other of attempting to execute a coup. Hemmer Goring has been assigned as successor to Hitler, and in the event of his death, decided to assume leadership of the Reich. Oh no! Unternehmen Valkyrie. Let's at least get war economy first. Because this is going to end up not going so well for everybody here. Public Suriname. Oh boy. 
Sorry, but we're gonna have a little bit of Antonim and Valkyrie very soon, probably. And oh, the Eternal Commander, huh? Air reduction costs, international diplomacy, increase Luftwaffe funding, Prussian restoration. Ah, supplemental research. Technology brings final victory. Very nice. Just crap on the planes, but onto an in Valkyrie. Elements of the Wehrmacht have executed Operation Valkyrie, the contingency plan for a major civil unrest in Germany. Army units have surrounded a number of government ministries and attempted to arrest high-ranking officials of the party. Small-scale skirmishes and firefights between SS guard details and army detachments have been reported all across Berlin. It appears the Wehrmacht has been demanded that all SS units stand out immediately and hand over the weapons. <clears throat> which SS leadership has refused outright. Both factions currently struggle for control of Berlin. Parts of the Wehrmacht have declared their loyalty to Hemingway Goring and taken up arms against the Wehrmacht rebels. The rebels. conflagration of war is only going to spread. Verata Versada. Hitler's been assassinated. Oh boy. The German radio announced today that the traitorous military elements had attempted a coup. Following an explosion of the Führer headquarters, which killed Hitler and so injured several others, armies attacked civil SS offices and teams. While well, Hemingway Goring claims he'll support... Uh, he has complete control of the country and his military. Reports are still coming into firefights between loyalists and rebel forces all over the country. Rumor has it that other leaders of the leading members of the Nazi party are planning the power grab for the uh, power and chaos. Vile treachery. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. You guys go up here. You should be okay. You guys are gonna come. Well, there's a lot of guys stuck down there. And you're going to break through here. Quickly. Get planes. Army three. They already have those guys on them. Uh, sail away. There you go. Yeah, we have to do. Cool. Let's see what happens. Plus intervention. Oh, the Germans of war. In a public announcement, Ignacia Mosiki claimed that the Polish military will intervene and protect the enclaves of the ethnic Poles in Germany for violence. Already riots in several border regions have already sprung up. Surmise is shown to be an orchestrated effort by the Polish government itself as an excuse for action. Despite formal diplomatic protests, the Polish foreign minister Joseph Beck maintains that he re the response is justified, actually. Gunter Sturm. Huh. Eternal commander, huh? <coughs> well, that sucks. Uh, support the Volksgemeinschaft. The Volksgemeinschaft, people's community, will assist in unifying and empowering the Germanic peoples of Europe and the world. Uh, in the public, military announce, public announcement today, Ignacy Mosiki proclaimed the Polish military intervened to protect enclaves of uh, ethnic Poles in East Prussia from violence. Already riots of several border regions have already sprung up, no doubt orchestrated by the Polish government as an excuse to intervene. A large formal diplomatic protest by the Polish ambassador maintains that the response is justified. Unacceptable. Bruh. Oh, is that bugged? It keeps popping up like that. Close them off. Take up all supply. Any and all supplies should be ours. Nice. And we have a cup of coffee to keep some nice warm too. Keep it up, Rommel. I got a Himmler, but whatever. Yeah, go straight on in. If we can capture this territory, that'd be great as well. And the rumble would be nice, but we don't really have to have them. Oh, hello. Well, that's what we wanted, sort of. Ah. Division's back. Swiss Confederation is provoking a wrath. The agents in Swiss Confederation report that, despite the pretension of neutrality and law, the Swiss Confederation so surreptitiously broke... Uh, broke David Frankfurter, the self-proclaimed killer of Wilhelm Gustav, out of jail by faking his death and having recruited as an intelligence agent. This proves that it cannot be trusted and must be eliminated when it gets an opportunity. This cannot be a, we cannot let this blatant insult to the German Reich stand. Get struck out. Beautiful. Good. Let the armor roll in now. How dare you do this? Honestly, we can probably just go here too. Border conflict. Insulin is even no divisions. 
All right then, we won. So where is this one at? Cilician border, East Prussian border. Uh. How dare you post defeat in East Prussia? Following the clash between German and Polish forces in East Prussia, roads in the region were seen littered and damaged with the ban of Polish equipment. Several Polish assaults on hastily erected German defenses uh, failed with heavy casualties during the battle. Few doubt that the debacle surely damned the enthusiasm for more invention attempts. Very good job, guys. Very good job. No train. Alright. Not bad. Torpedo bombers didn't have to use those guys yet. Nice. Um, where do the rest of our planes go? Oh, we don't no longer have 30 divisions. God dang it. Uh, you know what, since we're here, uh, also, I did grab this off screen too. This one, Embrace the Future, which is a little different from what it normally is, so. But we're gonna go with this guy and then throw on some light tanks for now. You motors. Oh, well, I should have done that one first. Crap. Tank design cost. Eh. Experience gain from combat for motorized and mechanized, but design cost other than that, it's not really worth it. Um, engineer, combat experience gain, bombardment plus 10%. Land action cost goes down, army XP goes up, cavalry is okay, state serves the military. I mean, that makes sense for us. The purpose of the state is to wage war against other states. Anything else is in support of that or useless distraction. I kind of want to go with elevated engineering corps just because it's a little different. But this makes more sense. I'm going to go this one. Now we definitely have at least 30. How is it? Sure, why not? Do things of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or really just all y'all. Don't train, but I'll say you two. Oh. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's go to this one. Feel take some more time. All right, and we'll go back into this one. Support, mi support military research. Polish army build-up. Spies will confirm major true movements of the Polish state of the border near Silesia. We don't know where the Polish have decided to strike, but we must be ready. I mean, yeah, okay. I wanted to hit him there, though. How did you get him there? I did SS influence. Yeah, if we stay with Goring, that's fine, too. I guess next time. I wanted to hit him there. Mm. Balanced approach. Order above all. Definitely. Traditional roles. Limited rights. Enforced patriarchy. Ah. Cool. And we've got a lot of roads up eventually, too. And we're already on Warwick County, which is really nice as well. And we still have Martin Borman. We can still get Heinrich Kimmler, though. Paris Universal Expedition. Huh? Huge global success. Oh. I kind of want to get Gerbils no matter what. We probably have to get Gerbils. Yeah, Gerby. Uh, it's not work horse, huh? Steel mill construction speed, synthetics, naval gunnery, interesting. A little different. 37, what do we really need or want? What's over here? Revolutionary mines, the greater good, hierarchy. 
The state's mandate. Oh, that's not bad, too. I don't want to lose too much political power right now, though. The will of the people. Community decision making? Definitely not. Oh, no supervision. Uh, limited supervision. Encourage brutality. Well, we'll stick with what we got for now. Service prohibited. Basic training. We definitely want to go extensive eventually. Yeah. Strict restrictions. Hmm. Damage Gearson's. Palmer Trump's not bad. Industrialist. Demagogue. I definitely want Himmler to. Oh, and power too. Non core manpower plus 20%. Allow recruitment of foreign assets divisions. That's kind of nice. But we're still building ourselves up here. I always go with IG Fobin, so we're not going to choose him. Uh, Krupp might not be bad. I'll go with Krupp this time. Why not? And 37. We've got a lot of the industry stuff done, so we're going to grab this. And SRD. We're going to grab this. Army focus. Yes. Very nice. Uh, what do we want to do down here? That's kind of mountainous ish. Hilly down here. Oh, it is killing itself too. Very nice. Guess we could have dealt out imagery, but whatever. Where are you at? Oh, just want to go through here. Makes it easy on everybody. Um, is it hills? Yeah, it kind of is. It's not good. This person is really nice. Out of boundaries, that's fine too. Amelia Earhart goes bye bye. That's okay with us. Two more things of fuel. Goodbye. And what are the bulls doing? That's a motorized divisions, huh? Hmm, not bad. Ah, nice. Motorized, motorized. These are considered special forces, though. These aren't bad to have, but meh. Also, we want to replace this with uh, other stuff later. So, if you are a war, you only send air volunteers. Two, not bad. We should have some tactical bombers somewhere here. Polish time, maybe not. Hmm. Where do they go? Militarization of Rome protocols, okay. Guarantee stability, well, we'll see about that. Medium bombers will take you. Therefore, here. They're already maxed out there. I kind of doubt that you could go all the way over there. Conversion. We'll see. Coming, uh, Panzer Leader. Very nice. Oh, Spain is pain. Poland. We have not aggression pact with them. It took 30 days to go to war with them as well. What do we just find on these guys? The Brits immediately guarantee them. That's fine. Why would you go to war with another group when you can't do anything else? Nope. 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 Oh. There you go. <clears throat> I guess Eternal Commander. Now that Rock's Marshal is in power, we're going to wait for Germany. Uh, no, we're good. Bad. Oh, they joined the Chinese United Front, so be it. Whatever. For working conditions. Sure, why not? So, how are we doing here? Do we have the range for it? Not really, no. At least one of you guys do. And you know what you do? You should bomb the airfields.
the struggle, but whatever. Enrique Lister. Nice. Let's go there. Help get rid of them. So they're guaranteed. Which means we can do some funky stuff. So if we want to just find these guys, and the Soviet Union goes to war with them, we can really cause one heck of a terrible world. So there you go. Done it before, I'll do it again. Um, Eternal Command, of course. Uh, stability, factory output goes down, motor rise, that's not bad. Uh, get the technocrats uh, seats in government. Get the technocrats seats in the government, will allow them further policies more effectively. Now the division goes bye bye. Beautiful. And there you go. They're really doing force defense, huh? Nice. A little out of town, but I don't really care. A lot of time ago. There you go. Very nice. Boot them out. Oh, what's going up there, too? I'm at this point start making some tanks, too. Former check, two o'clock, president dies, huh? So now we're down to how many to ma much manpower? Only 400,000. God dang it, that sucks. <coughs> we'll need political power, though. Press censorship, that's not bad. Democratic raids, eh. Material designers. We'll go Mauser. I like Mausers. Aluminum production. Grab some of that because you want to, because you can. Let's go right there. Hey, look, they cut off. How else can we mess up the world? Who else goes to war with each other? Technocrats, nice. That's the revive the Iran project? More than 500 factories, holy crap, that's a lot. The issue with steelworks. The uh, Vladimir de Stelbach AG has been a primary steel producer for Germany, but. It's a private company with little government oversight. Creating Rex Vecca Hum and Ring will give us a steel producer that the government will control. What's not to love? Francis, welcome to the comet turn. Pretty much saw that one coming. Royal Coon, Denmark. Oh. That was actually better. Getting a little scrambly, but that's okay. What do you mean, weak foreign policy? Bruh. Oh. Yeah, we definitely need more military factories. Uh, go down to three for now. What do we have over here? Oh, 936 carriers. Oh, that's not bad. Let's get rid of all this stuff. I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet, really. Um, Panzer shifts. Maybe one carrier? Here, you can have carrier then. Any more millies though. It's almost 38, so I'm making them one at every time all the time now. There you go. Nice. Yugoslav Italy is doing very well. How's it Yugoslav Italy? What the heck? Okay then, whatever. Model, how's it going? How are they hanging? Coming still up, hands are leader. Almost there though. Very nice. 97% of the way there. Becoming a cavalry leader too. Interesting. Develop the hair. 
Oh, Hans Guderian and other radical theorists are pushing for new daring doctrines emphasizing communication, identification of Schwerpunkt, and local concentration of combined arms forces. Giving them free reign might help avoid the migraine horrors of the Great War. The problem with the steelworks. Oh, hello. As the German military grows, we must ensure that we have a secure and stable source of steel. Our current primary steel producer, Verandit Stolberg AG, has been a valuable ally in the NSDAP's rise of power and is a significant employer of German workers, but. The Stahlwerk hasn't been using as much steel as possible, forming and supporting Rexwerk and Hemgoring, and instead may produce significantly more steel and support the German warfare more efficiently. Hmm. Rexwerk and That makes more sense. It just does. So good. Are we at war? Oh. What? Oh. Albania, Yugoslavia, Italy, Kingdom of Yugoslavia, Czechoslovak Republic. Really? This is the weird world we live in. Oh, these are the allies. Okay, these are. Wait, these are the allies? Um. No, actually, no. That's weird. Darn it. Oh well. Keep training. I thought that we could go to war with them. I'm like, well. Oh, by issuing clear orders for allies, we'll increase our chances of coordinate actions to overcome our enemies. <coughs> Interesting. Interesting. That's cool, actually. That's really cool. I like that. There you go. Is anyone else gonna go to war? I don't think so. Oh! Wait, what? What's going on here? Italy broke itself and then came back. Bruh. How did they do that? I have a 38, everybody. That's right. Oh wow. Oh. Look at this. Oh, uh, I, I I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh that would uh like get me copyright struck probably. So, uh, we could go with this guy. Okay, why not? Mobile warfare. You know, Yugoslavia requests sales of airplanes. Realizing its strategic weakness, Yugoslavia Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commissionment travels around Europe to look for more new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the issue's urgency, the Yugoslavs insist on immediate delivery of transfer planes from the producer. Of course. Mobile warfare. Our technological advances in military power in the air and the land can be coordinated, allowing us to avoid trench warfare's slow and bloody characteristics. The trench combat will be a live fire training ground for new military and us a new age of war. We can pursue a research military treaty with the uh, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics in order to develop chiefly better tanks. If they agree, we can reopen the tanks when we close down in Kalman 33. Uh, Soviet cooperation will, of course, mean they will too benefit from the innovations made. But sometimes we gotta make a deal with the devil. To get re where you really want to go. Uh, soft attack, more defense. Max entrenchment is pretty nice, though. Max factors in a state. Oh, go and grab that too. Why not?
Nice. Over half a million? Finally. Anschluss. The Anschluss of Union with Austria is a long-held goal of the German people. Although forbidden by the Treaty of Versailles, the town is going to finally bring it about. Let's offer the Austrians a chance of sharing a glorious destiny. Operation Vesa Ubung. Okay, nice. Uh, what do we want to do? The man is Sudanland after that, but we need more manpower. Prepare the Western Theater. Prepare for Sea Line. Fair Italian Invasion. Honestly, the last would be nice, but we're probably going to do that one. Claim Sud Tyrol. Research Eastern Claims. Uh, we're going to go with Blitzkrieg this time. Which is this one? Military base is nice, too. Good. Um, large Propaganda? Yeah, might as well wait to get a Large Propaganda. Anschluss, please. Befriend the Polish Republic. Dance to war. That's probably where we're going to go. Naval efforts. What we'll do the treaty next? Build the Panzer Army. Ooh. Division will be awarded a medal. Um, this is what we get to. Nationalizing industries responsible for producing strategic resources will improve our yield of these resources. Allow us to sustain our military even better. Which makes sense. But this one we get to do as well. Do this one first. is very good. Oh, we have 35 days left. Okay. That's a lot of days left. Keep building, 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 building. Uh -huh. The manpower. Why not? Cool. Jaegers. Join the Chinese in our front. How are we doing in China? Computer machine's good. Grab some of that. Doing all right. Still getting a little scrambled here and there, but whatever. Senior divisions too. No, Japan. Three divisions, not bad. Where are the Mountaineers? Oh, we lost them. Well, we'll see. We'll see how we do. Move them out. There you go. High power cartridges, nice. Federal state of Austria refuses Anschluss. The foes in Vienna refuse to accept the merger of two nations. It's a blatant disregard for the will of the Austrian people. And it would not stand. We had to. May have to enforce Anschluss through military means. Oh, that's not good then. We have, like no planes. Time will be fine. Um, my friend Denmark, we could do that. My friend Czechoslovakia, combine these guys. Well, we're gonna do this too. Three, two, god dang it, we just sent guys over there too. One, so that kind of sucks. Fighting, fighting the Italians is gonna suck as well. There. How dare you. Why don't you guys go just... Can you go straight for Vienna? Run protocols. It's fine. Just go around if you can. I'm going to get rid of bomber production. Uh... Board the med for now. German units seize Vienna. German authorities have probably announced to the world that their armed forces have successfully seized control of Vienna. The new administration has established a quarters in the undamaged wing of the Schönbrunn Palace, overlooking the remainders of the gardens which were cut down by local populace in the recent months of the struggle. 
The remaining defenders of the federal state of Austria have barricaded themselves in the cellars of Rathaus while fierce street fighting continues in the Leopoldstadt and Zimmerung districts of the city. Kostrichnik held a radio speech emphasizing the fight over the city is not yet over, and the outcome is uncertain. A great victory. There goes those guys, and now we have a couple of Italian boys trapped. Unfortunate for them. Because we still have to take out the Hungarians. Some of just might be enough to get the Hungarians at least hold them at where they're at currently. More divisions. Let's get them here for now. But thank you. Oh, good. We get the islands as well. In the end, yes. Good. Nice. German news and a Budapest. Uh, the Blue Danube is changing colors. Violent combat devastates the twin city of Budapest. Once again, Buda and Pest have been separate as a bridge on the Danube have been destroyed by Hungarian defenders. German victory is clear, but the damage done to the city will take time to be repaired. So be it. It was their choice. The modern army. Oh, that one too, but we don't really need that one. Schwerpunkt tactics. Having specific points of concentration for mobile forces as well, such as armored um, or, and motorized divisions, will ensure that we can break through even the most formidable defensive lines. Yes, if Stalin accepts the German Soviet Treaty. Yay! You're gonna program. Um, our negotiations with the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics has been successful. An agreement has been reached where nations will aid each other in the development of new armored units, with a possible extension of other research areas in the future. That should be a uh, stepping stone to the future. Beautiful. See these machine tools. The danger of operating factories in the occupied territory could be mitigated by moving the tooling machine to our country. While well, reduce the risk of sabotage, we probably convince a large part of the uh, population to resist us. Sucks to be them. Don't lose the war. Collect civilian utensils. Do you need, need? Oh, well, we have hungry, so we don't need more aluminum. Rommel would be nice. I like Rommel. Sometimes. Very good. You no. You're so good. Now he goes hungry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're going to come back down here now, too. How many divisions is... Italy has up to 22. Yeah, they're going to be really screwed. They are, already are very screwed. Cool. It's in Cristadio. Second garages. Alright, so now at this point... I do not think in the first episode we end up taking out Italy. And Hungary. <clears throat> nice platform was very nice. Very good, very good, very good. Let those motorized boys go. I love trucks. Look at these F4 150s going. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Rome falls to German troops. The German army triumphs over the end of the Turtle City. The Italian steps defensive lines known under the code name Caesar C in Rome Switch. Uh, outside the city, to avoid damaging the immense uh, cultural heritage of the capital. Thus, the rapidly advancing German troops overtook them before Italian reserves could reinforce their positions. A small group of Italian defenders sought, fought to the bitter end inside the Veterano and the Air Ministry. In addition, the German Reich also received an official capitulation letter from the Vatican City officials. But the final final season, the choir is finally returning across the city. Great victory. Let the tanks go to Sicily. Palermo. Do they have French volunteers? Looks like it, yeah. French commune. Oh. Well, that sucks. This guy died. Devastating loss for us all. 38. Not bad. Armor. 9038. That's a better tank, so. Um. Black Tower projections. 
Quality, quantity. Quality over quantity. No, that's not bad. But I'm gonna get this one. Stop your Deutsche Arbeit's front. Replacing all the German workers' unions with one government controlled union will allow us to ensure optimal efficiency in the German industrial complex and make it easier to institute industrial and economic reforms. Alright, we got them! I think we probably. Oh, hello. Sure, guys. Join the party. At this point, I might as well just grab the Prince of Terror. Damage Garrison goes down. Might as well. Um, Czechoslovak State. You actually went fascist. Okay. Well then. Well, since we're here, we have a little bit of army XP, tiny bit. Garrisons, uh, replace this with military police. Yeah, you already have that on there, right? Yeah. Good. Well then. Hey, more ships. So we'll work on the carriers. Subs, cruisers, heavy ships, I like them heavy. Let's go with the battle cruiser. Armor 2, radar 1, anti air 2. We don't have enough army naval XP, god dang it. We're still gonna use it for now, anyways. It's not good, but whatever. Hey, tanks. Just give them normal divisions for now. There you go. The ends. Nice. Um, Marines, we might want one of those too eventually. Uh, anything else we need? Just a Need more guns. That's not good. Guns are motorized, huh? 25. At this point, making three at all times. That's the most important thing, probably. Alright, let's see. They have no carriers. That's odd, but okay. Alright then. Not bad for the first episode, I'd say. Oh, permit SS agreement in the Netherlands. In this titanic struggle of national survival, we must use every asset and every advantage. The SS believes that there are many in the Netherlands who would gladly pick up arms and pop our side against the threat of global Bolshevism. While the Wehrmacht agrees in principle that some recruits of the suitable volunteers could be useful, the generals in OKW very strongly believe that any foreign volunteer should be under military, not SS command. Compromise? The SS? Okay, allow OKW to recruit a small number of specialists and support personnel. Hey! SS Panzer Divisions. Nice. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't change the tempo. Oh, man, that sucks. They really got more strength, even though we will need to raise the conscription level. I'll create the intelligence agency eventually. Um, we'll probably do this one. But with the Panzer Army. Before we invade the French colony, we'll ensure that our armored divisions are up to date and fully stocked with the tanks they need. And uh, befriend Czechoslovakia. I kind of don't want to. I kind of just want to, like, take them over. How much manpower do we have in the field now? Over 600,000, but I'm not quite enough to do what we really want to do. We can advance to Venia, though. The Treaty of Saint Germain and Lay saw many historic Austrian territories pass out to two successor states. While Austria once again united with the German nation, it's time to end these injustices. The historic provinces of Carniola and Styria, which are now known as Slovenia, must be brought home. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else and what other stuff we can do with the Road to Enhancement mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, look, we almost do. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.